In this video, you'll know how to create an app that seamlessly onboards new users into your Web3 application without them even knowing anything about crypto. My name is Hakim and I'm a Web3 developer and educator. My mission is to help you master Web3 development. So let's begin. So in this video, there are a couple of requirements you'll need of which I'll list on screen now. Those include uh, TypeScript version 5, React 18, and you'll also need Node 18 or above. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is just uh, run this command in your terminal, npm create vt at latest. So we are going to be creating just a demonstration React application that you can just use and then see how to implement the Privy SDK into our application. It's very easy. So let's begin. We're going to call this Privy Tutorial React. So you do need TypeScript installed to have the Privy SDK. So make sure that you have at least version 5 installed. So let's run that. Now we're going to CD into Privy Tutorial, change directory. And then if you have the shortcut set up in your Mac or Windows operating system, you can then do code dot to open up that directory. Okay, so now I'm going to expand this, drag it over here. Great, so from our VS Code instance, let's close this. npm i, so we need to install our dependencies and we'll also need to install this package here. So this is a Privy React auth package. So this contains all the React hooks and provider that you need to enable seamless onboarding for new users and even existing users onto your application. So let's in our terminal run npm i Privy IO. So we've installed the Privy package. Now let's create a new folder here, call it providers. And we'll make a new folder in here, call it privy provider.tsx. And then if we scroll down in the documentation, we'll see a file we can copy and paste, remove this use client, unless you're using Next.js, which we are not. Paste in your app ID. Now this is allowed to be in the front end, so you do not need to worry about you know leaking an API key and getting rugged or hacked or whatever. So I already have a project up. The setup is really easy. Just head over to privy.io, go to the dashboard and make, a, make an account. It takes two seconds. And once you do that, you create an application, scroll down to your API keys and then copy, paste, wrap it around our application in our main.ts. So this would be providers, paste it in here. Great, now your app supports the Privy SDK. How do you use it? Very easy. So let's head over to a main.tsx. I mean, app. And you'll have a hook called use Privy. So you can have login. Let's get the user object as well. I'm use Privy. Let's import this. Now, what you can do is let's say we have a button here. Instead of incrementing a counter, it's going to log in the user. Before I do the login though, I want to show you guys what login features are available. So if we head over to login methods here, I'll make this a bit bigger. Login methods, and we can see we have email or SMS, so phone, phone number. We also have the socials, which is Google, X, Discord, GitHub, so on and so forth. And it even supports Farcaster, which is really cool. Uh, for simplicity, we'll stick with the standard email login. But in the future, I will show you how to do the different methods for the social logins. Now, let's head back over here. We are now calling the login method on this button. Uh, let's remove this set count. Oh, geez, not like that. Delete that. We don't care about counts. We'll call this login. Let's npm run dev to start the app. Cool. Now we're going to click login. You'll see this pop up here. 
Now, if you have a logo configured, you'll see this here. For me, it's not done correctly, so it's just a placeholder image. Uh, and as you can see, you have these different providers here. You have your email, you have Google, and you have the option to allow your users to log in with MetaMask or whatever wallet they choose. So this will allow your current Web3 users and your new Web2 users who are not familiar with, with Web3 to be easily integrated into your application. And remember, this is all non-custodial, so the user owns their private keys. It's not possessed or in control by Privy. Let's put in my email, submit. Okay, I'll need to do a confirmation code. Take this, paste it in. Perfect, and now we're connected to the application and that's how easy it is. And let's see in the back end what happens. So if I head over to the users section, we can see that we can see in the Privy dashboard that there's a Privy DID. This is the decentralized identifier, a unique identifier that works across any application. And the login method used, so my email address, and then it also shows any linked accounts I might have. So maybe I want to log in with my Gmail or my Twitter account or whatever other social form of login. They, they can all be linked to the same user very easily using Privy. And the date I signed up and let the date I signed up and when I was last seen. So you'll see this embedded section here, this embedded wallet. This is the actual wallet that gets spun up behind the scenes. And if I click on it, you'll see the wallet address. Again, this is the wallet that's actually owned by the user. So as you can see in the Privy Dashboard, there is no private key. I can't rug them. All I can see is the actual um, the wallet address itself. In this video, you learn how to integrate a seamless onboarding of users into your Web3 application using the Privy SDK. And in the next video, I'll show you how to integrate the login methods for Google, Twitter, GitHub, and so on using the Privy SDK. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.